Now, box plots or box and whisker diagrams, depending on how you were taught, are very closely linked to cumulative frequency diagrams. Okay? And now and again at GCSE, they might put the questions together. So a box plot works with the lower value, the upper value, the lower quartile, upper quartile, and median. And so you could effectively draw one immediately below your cumulative frequency graph. So you would have the median, and then you would have the upper quartile, and you'd have the lower quartile. I haven't done this very well. I'll try and make that a straighter one. There we are. Okay, and we could put a box around that. Okay, and then we would have line going off. This is my minimum value, and line going off. And so this would be my maximum value. Okay, so they line up in exactly the same way. This is your lowest value. This is your lower quartile. This is your median. And this is your upper quartile. And this is your highest value. Okay, and what it represents is a way of showing how spread out the data is. Because effectively, what you're saying is that this is where 25% of the data is. Here's another 25%. Here's another 25%. And here's the last 25%. So you can see that the 50%, this 50%, is closely squashed, okay, between that lower quartile and upper quartile. So from this, you might be asked to compare two box plots. So you might have a box plot that looks something like this. Okay. That might be the first one. And then the second one. Okay, so you might have these two box plots, for example. Um, they might be males or females, or whatever, okay? Uh, cats and dogs, whatever, okay? Um, but the thing is that what you, the, what you need to understand is that, yes, you can make a uh, comparison that uh, the lowest value and the upper values are the same for both cases. The median for this uh, data set is less than that one, so we'd say that um, the average is lower. However, this group is more consistent than that group because it has a shorter interquartile range. This box is narrower than that one. Okay, this one is more spread out and is more is uh, less consistent because of it. So. It's just another way of representing data and making it visually appealing to be able to then compare two sets of data rather than comparing it straight from two frequency tables.